love bugs. Today, this week for reading, it's going to be reading slash social studies. We're going to be talking about community helpers. Now, community is a big word, but what that really means is the area that you live. So think about where you live and the different buildings that are around you, the different people who are around that work different jobs. They're all a part of your community. And what a helper is, is it's somebody who can help you with something. And there's lots of different helpers in our communities that you might not think about, but they are helping you in all different ways and helping your families in all different ways. So I'm gonna show you a picture and we're gonna talk about who these people are in your community. Okay, can you see this picture? Great. What does this person look like? What kind of job might they have? Very good. This is a teacher. Now a teacher can be a man or a woman. Teacher. And let's talk about how might a teacher help in our community? What does a teacher do? Very good, a teacher teaches children, right? Very good, they teach children so that children learn different things. So that's what a teacher can do, right? A teacher's, I'm a teacher and I love what I do because I get to help kindergartners, right? We, I get to help you learn your letters and your sounds and your numbers, I get to help you learn how to read, and even just the basics, like in kindergarten, we learn how to sit right on the carpet, how to stay nicely at our seats, all those rules of the school, right? Well, teachers teach all the way from your age up through college. Teachers can teach adults too. Adults never have to stop learning. Adults can always go back to school to learn more and more and more if they want to. So a teacher is someone in your community who helps out by teaching other people different subjects and different things. How about this person in your community? Have you seen this person before? Now this can also be a job for a man or for a woman. Let's look at what they're wearing and what they're holding. Very good. This is a person who works in what we call sanitation. Okay, we can call them garbage collectors. Sometimes they collect recycling from our town. And they might come around in a big truck and they take away the garbage that we throw away. Even in our school, we have custodians, right? Custodians can be men or women that help keep our school clean. And we have lots of trash all day long. So they come and they collect the trash, they clean up our schools. Garbage collectors in our town, they take trash away, which is such a huge help to our community because if the trash was just staying there, it would just pile up and then it could get really smelly and gross and stinky. Sometimes animals get attracted to a garbage smell and we don't want animals going through our garbages and things. So garbage collectors are help out our community so much by taking the garbage away to somewhere where they can either bury the garbage or sometimes they burn the garbage to make the garbage go away and have less trash in the community. Very good. Love bugs, look at this person. This is another community helper. Okay, let's look at their uniform that they're wearing. This is also a job that a man or a woman can have. We've had some visit our classroom this year. Do you know what this is? Good, that's a police officer. A police officer. They are definitely a community helper for us. What does a police officer do for our community? Yeah, a police officer protects. What does protect mean? Very good, to keep safe, right? A police officer, their job is to protect people. They keep us safe. They teach people the rules of the town and they go around and they make sure people are following the rules of the town. Think about it, right now, we have a rule that we can't be in school right now, right? Which is a bummer because we miss each other, but it's to keep all of us safe and healthy. 
So we have to follow those rules. We have police officers to make sure that the community follows certain rules, right? We have police officers that come to visit our school and talk to us about ways to stay safe and things that we can practice at home to stay safe. Parents, we've had two police officers, Officer Brittany and Officer Chris, come into our class and they were teaching us things that we should practice at home, like knowing our address, so if there was ever an emergency and we had to make an emergency phone call, we could tell the person on the phone where we live. So that's something really good you could practice at home is knowing your address. And we learned that from our police officer. Love bugs, what about this person? Can you see this person? Excellent. Let's look at their uniform. They also have visited our school this year. If you remember, they made Mrs. Qualia go up in the bucket way, way, way up high in that ladder, which I couldn't believe I did, but I did for you guys. They can also be, it can be a man or a woman. What job is this? Very good, this is a firefighter. A firefighter. How do they help our community? Yeah, yeah, they put out fires. If there was a fire, their job is to come and help put the fire out. Sometimes firefighters can even be there if there's just um, a need for extra help. You know, if there's something going on in the community and it's an emergency and we need extra help, firefighters can show up to give extra help. Maybe it's a, a, if there's a car accident, something like that, where um, everybody's okay, but they just need some extra support from the police officers need some extra help. A lot of times our police officers and our firefighters, they work together, which is a really nice thing. How about this person? Have you seen this person in your neighborhood? Yeah, they are so important to us too. They can be a man or a woman, can have this job. They are called mail carriers. Mail carriers. Some of you might call them mailmen or mailwomen, but they're mail carriers. They carry the mail. They walk from house to house. And what's their job? Yeah, they deliver the mail. We need them, right? It's so special when you get a letter in the mail or a package in the mail. And we wouldn't get those things if it weren't for our mail carriers. They are such a help to our community. Good job, love bugs. Let's see who's next. Okay, now. This person, there's a big word for this person. This person rides around, now I see what you say, kind of like Miss G, our nurse, but it's not a nurse. And I'm gonna tell you, you might think doctor, but this isn't a doctor. This is a job that a man or a woman can have, and they ride around in an ambulance. Now doctors help, but doctors aren't usually in an ambulance. There's a special word for these workers. They are called paramedics a paramedic so let's say you were riding your bike and you fell and you weren't close to your home and you know you think maybe I broke my my arm because that can happen you know sometimes we fall and we break a bone and somebody like a parent can call 911 for an emergency and an ambulance would come and they would help you. And when the ambulance comes, they have workers who are very trained in medicine and in all of the practices to help you. They are called paramedics. So they'll help you right on the spot and then if they need to bring you to the hospital, that's why they have the ambulance so that they can bring you to get extra help from doctors. So a paramedic helps in an emergency. So they help you when there's a medical emergency. They get there fast to help you and then they bring you to doctors. That's what paramedics do. Sometimes they come and they can help and they can help you and you don't have to go to a doctor after that. But that's their job is to get to you quickly to give you medical help. Now this person is the one that you might see on a regular basis with your families. You might go and visit them for checkups. You might go and visit them 
to um, when you're not feeling well. It could be a girl or a boy that has this job. What is this person? Very good. This is a doctor. What does a doctor do? How does a doctor help your community? Very good. A doctor takes care of your health. Right, so you might go to the doctor absolutely when you're sick, but your parents probably take you to the doctor even when you're well. I know I take Marco and Kaylin for their well checkups once a year now that they're older, and the doctor just checks on how they're doing with their height and their weight and their eyesight, and they just wanna make sure we're doing okay each year every time we turn a new age. So we go to the doctor. When we're not feeling good, we go to the doctor. So the doctor can help us if we have a cold and find ways to get us better. Very good, love bugs. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a little matching game, okay? So I'm gonna show you something and I want you to shout out to me, which community helper does this go with? Can you see this, love bugs? Cause I'm over here. Okay, which community helper would drive in this vehicle? Good job, that would belong with our firefighter, right? So I'm gonna put it right there with our firefighter. Which community helper would drive around in this car? Excellent, that would be our police officer, good job. Who would drive around in this? Okay, don't let it trick you. Right, a doctor wouldn't drive around in this. This is for the paramedic, they come and help you and then if they need to bring you to a doctor, this is what they use to bring you there. Who would drive this vehicle? Very good, our garbage collectors. They come around in those special garbage trucks. How about this vehicle? Excellent, that goes with our mail carrier. Now the final two for a teacher and a doctor, they don't have a certain kind of vehicle that you see on the street. They could drive anything that they want to, but I do have two different tools that they might use. So which person would use this? Now. This is a chalkboard. In our classroom, we have a whiteboard. Who would use this? Yeah, that goes with our teacher. And which person would use this? Do you know what that is? Yeah, you're right. It's the thing that the doctor uses to listen to your heart and listen to your lungs when you're breathing. It's a very long word. It's called a stethoscope. Can you say that? Stethoscope, very good. And that goes with our doctor. Love Bugs, you did so good today helping me talk about community helpers and what they do in our towns to help us in all different ways. Now, the next thing I want you to do in your science and social studies pack, if you go to the very last page, it looks like this. Okay, now there's also a community helpers book that's attached to the back and it looks like this. We're gonna work with this tomorrow, so don't lose it, keep it to the side. But this page, you can rip right off like that. And what I want you to do, you're gonna color the picture so nicely. Now it's up to your parents what you wanna color with. Since there's nothing on the back, you can use whatever you want. So if you have markers that you wanna color with, just no scribble scrabbles, right? We wanna color really nicely. And you're gonna color all of these pictures really nicely too. And then what you're going to do, you're gonna put your name at the top and I want you to cut out each of these pieces and I want you to match them with which community helper they go with. When you're done, please take a picture of your page and send it to me on Remind. Lovebugs, you did great today. I am so proud of you. Please go and complete your Community Helpers matching page.